The endoscopic program at St. Elizabeth is very unique. It really provides patients with an option to traditional open heart surgery. Dr. Mario Castillo Sang is our endoscopic mitral valve heart surgeon here at St. Elizabeth Healthcare. He's been a tremendous addition to St. Elizabeth. We have a second surgeon that's joining us. His name is Dr. Juan Penaranda, who actually came to St. Elizabeth for training with Dr. Castillo Sang and decided to join our practice and add more capacity for endoscopic procedures here. Endoscopic valve surgery is surgery done through ports, through the chest, avoiding opening the breastbone and avoiding making a big incision on the side. Endoscopic cardiac surgery implies making smaller incisions, usually two to three centimeters, through which instruments are put in to work. And then a scope, an endoscope, is put in through the chest wall to look at the field. So all the surgeon does is based on the image produced by that endoscope. The patient benefits from having much less pain compared to even other minimally invasive operations. The patient gets to mobilize sooner in the care and gets to go home and be more active and back to life sooner than any of the other forms of minimally invasive surgery. Endoscopic cardiac surgery allows the patients to have faster recovery with less pain, quicker return to work and many other benefits including less blood transfusions, less time in the ICU. The patients are extubated in the operating room, which is much more common after endoscopic surgery than the traditional sternotomy. The exposure that we get with the high definition camera allow us to get a better visualization of the pathology and perform better and more durable repairs. Therefore, the outcomes to me are better. So when our surgeons are operating, the patient continues to benefit from a physician being in the unit at all times. And then postoperatively, our patients benefit from our nurse navigator who's following up with those patients, whether it be in person or video visits or both, uh, to make sure that they are doing okay. They come back into the office for postoperative care with the surgeon and our nurse practitioner. So I think the support that our patients are provided is, is very meaningful to their recovery. In the cardiovascular surgery ICU, we take care of all the open heart patients in the hospital. Um, we do minimally invasive and we do open sternotomy. We take care of all of the bypass and tricuspid aortic and mitral valve replacement patients as well. It's a very fast paced environment. I take care of patients at their sickest point and I help discharge them home once they're better and able to go home. So it's very rewarding. I think this unit's full of a lot of pride. There's great partnerships with the physicians and advanced practice providers. It's really fun to get to collaborate on a multidisciplinary level and care for the patients alongside the providers and see them get better. From the OR on their first operative day all the way to day four or five when they're getting discharged and get to go back home to their loved ones. We focus heavily on outcomes for patients. Our outcomes for mitral valve repair and replacement, which are 97% of the time done endoscopically, are excellent. We have achieved three out of three stars from the SDS. A lot of the hard work from our team, our anesthesiologists, our ICU nurses, our staff. So the outcomes there talk about morbidity, mortality, readmission complications. Those speak to very good outcomes. So endoscopic cardiac surgery can be achieved with highly, highly reproducible, excellent outcomes. For St. Elizabeth Healthcare, being able to offer this procedure to our patients really sets us apart to other programs in our community. We are the only program in Greater Cincinnati that's offering an endoscopic approach to heart valve surgery. So for St. Elizabeth, this really allows us to uh, offer innovation to our patients. And additionally, we're becoming more of a destination site uh, and really extending our reach beyond our primary service area. So to be on the forefront of that in Greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky is pretty huge for our patients and also for our health system. I started at St. Elizabeth five years ago and we went from not ever doing endoscopic cardiac surgery to now we do three to four a week. The growth has been from zero to already almost 400 operations done endoscopically, totally endoscopically, with high success rate and treating some of the most complex pathologies that can be approached either through a or endoscopically. And even some of the things that in the past 
some would deem as inoperable. And in fact, recently we have one of our papers accepted for publication on that specific topic of mitral calcification, treated totally endoscopically. As we continue to gain more experience with this platform, we'll be able to treat many other cardiac pathologies that are currently treated with sternotomy. Surgery for coronary artery bypass, aneurysmal disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are some of the few, but many others will be able to be treated this way. And I think this will be exciting for patients. The future of the program is bright. We have a new partner starting, and together we'll be expanding what we can offer patients. We'll have more breath and being able to uh, tackle more things uh, more often and so having two surgeons doing this will be amazing and that will be very important for the community.